morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told out of Voice of Radio, so today... We've got some new products to talk about. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I'm sitting down here at like half past five in the afternoon. I'd made my videos for the day. I was recording a bonus podcast for the folks over on the Patreon. Patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. And I was just chilling out, recording that, winding down for the day when these images... Well, they, they, were, they were shared with me by the lovely Matthew Arrive immunity over on Twitter. But what am I going to do? Not bring you the news. That doesn't sound like me, ladies and gentlemen. That doesn't sound like me. And the cool thing is I've got five products to show you here. Four of the products I'm going to be showing you were actually in a news prediction video that I showed you yesterday afternoon. Literally two videos back. Thank goodness I got that video up yesterday or else I would have to bin it as entirely irrelevant. But now we know what these products are. We know what the promo Vs and Vmaxes are, and two of them totally nailed it, go Wossy, go, go, go Wossy, go, and two of them I didn't, even though it was so obvious and I missed it. So let's start with them, shall we? The Pokemon V boxes that I told you about yesterday are going to be featuring Single Strike and Rapid Strike Urshifu V, and of course they are. Now, these are going to be coming out on March the 19th, which actually means, no, I'm lying to you. The V-Boxes I told you about yesterday are coming out on the 25th of June. These are extra products that we didn't know about. I'm totally off the hook. Although the fact that I didn't mention these in the video yesterday is a source of embarrassment for me. Because, honestly, I should have mentioned them. Now, these are Single Strike and Rapid Strike Urshifu v but it's important to note they are not the same single strike and rapid strike Urshifu V that I have already shown you and that are confirmed as going to be coming in battle styles. These are the other single strike and rapid strike Urshifu V that are coming out in premium collections over in Japan. They are different cards that have different attacks. Now, we will go through them in a second. I've done videos on them. I'll link them in the description. But it is important to note these are not the same Urshifu V that we've already got English scans of and are coming in battle styles. These are different Urshifu V that are coming in premium collections over in Japan. Now, we do have a little description here, and it reads like this. Sweet little Kubfu has grown wise and dangerous, trained in one of the towers of two fists, and now commands extraordinary powers as single strike Urshifu V or rapid strike Urshifu V. Depending on its preferred training method, this Pokemon V either channels all its powers into one mighty blow that knocks aside all opposition, or unleashes a rapid flurry of strikes to defeat its opponent. Enhance your collection with this martial arts Pokemon and find helpful allies, skill trainers, and other treasures in Pokemon TCG booster packs. Strike how you like to seize a total victory. Although it is important to note we've still actually not seen a Cubfu card, and because we've only seen Urshifu as a V or V Max, where's the uh, where, where's the Cubfu? We don't know. Now, these will be released on March 19th, 2021, which is the same day as Battle Styles will be released, and they will be retailing for $19.99. And it's very, very much like we've seen, kind of. You see, we've got the usual promo V and the usual oversized promo and the usual four booster packs for the usual price. But we also get a promo energy card featuring either single strike or rapid strike energy, depending on which one you actually go for. And we've looked at these energy cards before. As far as I'm concerned, they are going to be staples in single and rapid strike decks. So that is extremely interesting to me. This is a kind of product we've seen many, many times, and I'm sure they usually retail for $20. And yet, they've stuck in a random other promo that we're not expecting. Now, for what it's worth, these energy cards, although we don't actually have confirmation, we don't get hollow energies in sets. It just doesn't happen. I mean, it has happened in the past, but it's not the usual thing. So expect single and rapid strike energy to just be regular cards in battle styles. And now you've got these cool hollow promo versions. So... 
this box is just general kind of four booster packs promo and a jumbo that we've seen a million times before. But they've chucked in a random other holo promo just for funsies. And I am into it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to very quickly have a look at the cards, the single strike urge vu translations from the lovely Antoine Boulet, of course. We have got one energy 30 damage. 4 energy, 180, not affected by resistance. I'm not a huge fan of this card. It, it, it's fine, but not terribly inspiring. Single strike energy will let you do an extra 20 damage, though. And then you've got all kinds of things like vitality band, etc. So you can get up to decent damage for a single energy here, which is fine, I suppose. But let, let's not get overly excited about this one. Not a gigantic fan. The Rapid Strike Urshifu, fighting colorless energy, 40 damage. But please do bear in mind that Rapid Strike energy will pay both of them in one go, which is kind of cool. And then free energy, 90 damage, plus 20 to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. I like this one a little bit more. But again, I don't think it's some kind of stunning card. It's the V-Maxes, which are the better ones of these. But... It's cool that we're getting them. We didn't know how we were getting them. And incidentally, right, yesterday when I was giving you my predictions for upcoming V-Boxes, I really should have mentioned these. Now, I was giving predictions for the boxes on the 25th of June, so kind of off the hook. But make no mistake about it, these should have been mentioned. The V-Max boxes, however, and these are also coming out on March the 19th. I was correct about these ones, although I did make, like, Four different predictions, so take them with a pinch of salt. They are going to be featuring Venusaur VMAX and Blastoise VMAX. And this is awesome, because it answers a question that we had. We knew that Blastoise and Venusaur V were coming in the battle decks, which are coming out in February, and it had already been confirmed. But we knew that Japan had had Blastoise and Venusaur VMAX. We'd just not been given any information about how we were getting them, they are also promos. So the Vs are coming in the V decks, and the V Maxes are coming in these V Max battle boxes. Now, again, we have a nice little description here, and it reads like this Whether you choose Venus or V Max or Blastoise V Max, you're getting a powered up Pokemon that can level up your deck in awesome ways. Enhance your collection with one of these high powered Pokemon and find helpful allies, skilled trainers, and other treasures in Pokemon TCG Booster Packs. Now, what is really cool here, and, it, and it's a little bit hidden on... Well, it's not hidden on the box, but it's not entirely accurate initially what they are. You get yourself the promo, as you would expect, and you get yourself the jumbo promo that you would expect, and you get yourself the four booster packs, which you would expect, but you also get yourself 65 sleeves. That's what these things on the right-hand side are. Now, the sleeve designs are weird. They don't look like your usual official Pokemon sleeves. They don't ha appear to have any logos or writing on it. It's just images of the Pokemon. But I'm kind of digging them. And shout out to Pokemon for giving us 65 sleeves. We have 60 card decks. And we are going to break sleeves. That is inevitable. Giving us five spare sleeves for the inevitable breakages. That is cool. More than that is, is maybe not cost effective and not needed. But definitely five extra sleeves here for inevitable breakages. That is really cool. And I'm into it. Now these are again coming out on March the 19th. And they are retailing for $24.99. So you're essentially paying an extra $5 for the sleeves. And the fact that you're getting a V Max rather than a V. But these are cool. I'm into Blastoise V Max. I think it's really cool. I've shown you winning decks for Venusaur and Blastoise. I'll try and remember to link them in the description with the videos about Urshifu and all of that. But this is cool. Like, these are basically four promo cards that we knew Japan was getting, but we didn't know how we were getting them, and now we do. And like I've said, the V Boxes are coming with those promo energy, which is awesome. And the V Max Boxes are coming with sleeves. Yes! And there is actually one other product that has gone and been revealed. We're getting ourselves a new treasure chest. Or collector's chest as it's actually called. Again, releasing on March the 19th. All of these products I'm showing you today are coming out on March the 19th. And it's another one of these lovely ones where you get yourself the lunchbox. And I often refer to these as great products for younger people, for children, etc. Because they are really cool. Now... And the description here is not as flowery. 
This dirty metal case contains more than a dozen special Pokemon goodies, including many not found anywhere else. It's not got quite the, um... Quite the flair of the other descriptions. Now what you get is are uh, five booster packs, two foil promo cards featuring single strike tepic and rapid strike shinx, more on those in a second, two coins, four sticker sheets, a mini portfolio, those are the little binders where each page holds one card, a notepad and a code card. They took the pencils out of these a while ago which is sad, but when you're buying them for kids you've got the foil promos, you've got the booster packs and then you've got things like the stickers and the portfolio and the notepad which makes a difference. Now this also retails for $24.99 which is not a bad price to be honest, but we need to go back to those promo cards. Single Strike Tepig and Rapid Strike Shinx. And this actually gives us two important pieces of information. Now, we already knew that we were going to be getting a single strike emblem. We've already seen an English scan of that card. It looks really good, incidentally. It lets you do an extra 30 damage on all of your single strike Pokemon's attacks. It's really cool. And I'm an emblem fan, so I am into this. But it tells us that the pre-evolutions are going to be single strike Pokemon. And bearing in mind, we've got a lot of help. Single Strike Energy lets you do an extra 20 damage. Well, now Tepig can use that. But let's say Tepig's got an attack that does 20 damage. Well, all of a sudden, Single Strike Energy means it does 40. And maybe against a Metal or Grass Pokemon that's weak, like, oh, I don't know, top of my head, Jirachi. All of a sudden, Tepig's actually getting legitimate relevant KOs. Like, if Tepig's got a 1 energy 20 damage attack, which would not be unusual for an evolving basic Pokemon, we can legitimately start taking prizes with Tepig! Which is awesome. It also means, you know, it takes something like Octillery. Now, Octillery is for Rapid Strike Pokemon, but Octillery lets you search for any Rapid Strike card. It's an ability that's limited to once during your turn, but it searches any Rapid Strike card. Well, now it means it will get your pre-evolutions as well as your fully evolved Pokemon. Because you might need the pre-evolution. You might not need the fully evolved one now because you just need to get the basic out. So the fact that the pre-evolutions will be single and rapid strike Pokemon is actually genuinely legitimately big news. Because it means they can take advantage of all of these extra single strike and rapid strike tricks. Of which there are many and there's only going to be more in the future. So make no mistake about it, this little revelation hidden away on the sell sheet for the new collector's chest is actually huge. Now it also mentions Rapid Strike Shinx here, and that just confirms that we are getting a Rapid Strike Luxray. And we kind of knew we were getting a Rapid Strike Luxray because this promo image was shown over in Japan. For Rapid Strike Master, in Japan, Battle Stars will split into two sets. Single Strike Master, where all the Single Strike Pokemon are. And Rapid Strike Master, where all the Rapid Strike Pokemon are. And you can see on that promo art where we do have a Luxray. So we kind of already knew we were getting a Luxray. But I suppose this confirms Rapid Strike Luxray. If the Luxray on the Rapid Strike promo artwork wasn't enough. But the fact that we know the pre-evolution of single and rapid strike, that is genuinely exciting to me because there are a whole bunch of things that you can now do with that. But going back to the collector's chest, yeah, this is cool and we love it. Go team! So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bunch of new products coming out on March the 19th. Things to be really excited about. Honestly, I want a playset of that rapid strike energy, the hollow stuff, because I'm team rapid strike all the way. And I kind of want a bunch of Blastoise as well. But if I buy the boxes, I also get the sleeves. And I kind of want the sleeves. So I feel like these products, the fact that you've got the sleeves in the VMAX collections, and the fact that you've got the foil energy in the V boxes, it feels like Pokemon's upping its game a little bit. Like they're slipping us a little something extra just to make us happy. And I, I kind of dig that. That's cool to me. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, 
Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.